In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what do I do with my hands? And it's a fair question. It's something that guitarists often struggle with, um, especially those who don't have a teacher right away. And what happens is we end up forming some bad habits. So what I'm going to do here is just give you a pretty basic outline of where your hands are going to go. This is really going to work for acoustic playing and also electric playing as well. The first thing we have to talk about is how to hold the pick. Now, I really like to hold the pick at, I, I always tell students, it's about a 90 degree angle from my thumb. So if my thumb is coming out like this, my pick should come straight down. Many students often hold the pick like this, which I find incorrect. What, what you have to do to make this work is you typically have to bend the wrist to use the tip of the pick. So I like to angle it this way. That way I can keep a really straight wrist. So first of all, get that pick going straight to the ground at a 90 degree from your thumb. With the acoustic guitar, it's very simple. We can take the crease of our uh, elbow here and just put it right on, right on the back of the body here. And this gives us a nice little angle for strumming. What I always tell students about the right hand is that we want to try to keep it fairly straight from the elbow to the wrist. Now, when we're strumming, there's a chance we could do a little turning, but the first thing I tell students is that strumming is a little bit like swinging a hammer. It's straight up and straight down. This will give us the most consistent motion. And if we can do this, then we can strum the guitar. So we have our pick held correctly at about a 90 degree angle. We have the crease of our elbow on the back of the body right here. And that frees us up to strum straight up and down. So very simple little pattern there. I think this works really well for single line picking, melody playing, solo playing too. Uh, obviously you'll get less motion from up here and it's a little bit more in the wrist. If I exaggerate that up and down motion a little bit. It works really nicely for us. So in this one position, we can strum and we can play a melody. 